today from Lucas. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Yeah, Richardson will throw to start out here. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there, a nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there, nearly an opening drive, INT. But Charles, you know, something we talked about last week, when you start believing whether you're in the midst of a special season or not, well, now they're at 6-0. Are you still trying to tamp down the expectations in that locker room? Well, to me, it's less about tamping down expectations and much more about not getting ahead of yourself as a team. And look, they've got to play each game individually, right? Many teams talk about being 1-0 at the end of each and every game each week. To me, you've got to understand, you cannot win the Super Bowl in October. Richardson working from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And it appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. They'll go for it. Here's Richardson. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they give it up just on their side of midfield. And, yeah, I mean, a surprising decision there to go for that. Must have a lot of confidence in his defense. Must feel like, hey, we're in great shape here because our defense can hold them because they're really outside of field goal range now, all right, the opposite team. So if you hold them here, you haven't given up any points. You may give up a punt and you're, you're pinned down a little bit, but must have thought it was an okay spot to go for it and decided to be aggressive. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. And some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. On play action, here's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they'll get this one to about the 20 yard line. Now HN on first and 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Over the middle complete. That's Hill. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there. They'll go for it on fourth. They'll go. HN. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, it's Tua. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Alexander Johnson. And the Colts are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Well, Brand, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right. Taking it right down Broadway. Jonathan Taylor on his horse. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, he has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Colts take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Right back to A-Chan on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now Tua. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. You look at this Colt defense. So they're going to be tough to throw on, no doubt. Currently ranked third in the NFL against the Pats. And since this is such a good unit of covering passes downfield, I think that last play is typically what we might see. A lot of short passes, see if they can generate some run after the catch, but nothing doing on that one. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to pass. Tua finds his man over the middle. It's likely. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll run for it with A-Chan. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. 
pure, unbridled joy after that one. That's going to be taken in by Downs. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Josh Downs, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you talk about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A run straight ahead with A-Chan. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. So you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. Two of his throws taken in by Waddle. And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as he'll take this down to the 44-yard line. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. To the sideline and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 32-yard line. Tua setting up shop to throw again. A little short one there, caught by Likely. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Here's Tua. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Up the middle, A-Chan. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, it's A-Chan. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is really thrown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Wilson. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. On now the Miami field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 33. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3.
So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry about, what organizations worry about, though, is overconfidence. They've been playing so well, and now they've got that extra time off. And we've seen teams come back off the open week and come out flat. So what a lot of good coaches do is they kind of game plan for that with their teams on defense they may blitz more in the beginning to get them going on offense they may go more up tempo anything to get them out of that lethargy right at the beginning and he's across midfield and into miami territory 121 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here heavy set out there on third and one they'll try and run for the first with dylan only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Meanwhile, Richardson's throw into the hands of Pittman here. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And going right back to Pittman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A give for Dillon running right. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They run again with Dillon. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ball at the 14 for second and five. They run once more with Dillon. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was covered. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Now it's Richardson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. Richardson looking to throw this. And that is incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Out of the gun, here's a give to Achan. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's third and seven. Tua sets up to pass it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. 
The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because, to me, this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule. But here, this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run. So this game is crucial. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and four. And Richardson back to throw it. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Richardson. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top, unsuccessfully. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Throwing now is Tonga Bailoa. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Two are going to throw. They set up the screen. A-chan has it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now second and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Devon Achan as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Now for the point after. And it's up through the goalposts. It's 17-10. So this drive spans seven plays. And it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. 
And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. He's going to let it go again. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. A short one there. And a loose football. And the Colts pick it up. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are, and now a terrific opportunity inside the five. Taylor, and he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Here's Taylor again, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. the touchdown it's gay to kick this one away and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback first down Miami as they get set to start the drive last time out they had the fumble that led to the touchdown not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession it's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground but an easy way to make it up to them get out there now and get some points on this drive and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line Two to Tyreek for the Miami first. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Open man is Higgins. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 40. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Two and now on first down. 
A little short one there, caught by Likely. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A give, running right, HM. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Alexander Johnson there on the stop. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Bill going to go in motion right. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, HM. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. HM here, they stay on the ground. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the eight yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. They'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins have got it back to within a score. Extra point right down the middle, and that cuts the lead to 24-17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Tackle that time by Jerome Baker out of Ohio State. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Richardson now on second down. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. On third down, here's Richardson. Escaping the pressure right. And this taken in by Downs. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be fourth down. Richardson going on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So nursing a slim lead, and that is the opposite of protecting that slim lead. All I can think here is that head coach, he knows more about what's going on with his team than we do. He must know something's up. Either he has trouble with his punter, Right? He's, he's worried about his defense. There's an explanation in there that we're going to ask for after the game. Because in this situation, I wouldn't have done that in, in normal circumstances. But maybe he thought, my best opportunity is with my offense. Yeah, interesting. Back in their own territory now. We'll see what transpires. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On the handoff, it's A-Champ. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. They're able to convert with a gain of four.
setting to throw on first down is Tua. On target to his man, likely. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll give this day a chance. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They'll look to throw here. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, Tua. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Jalen Waddle from four yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Colts set to take over here offensively. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Play action. Now Richardson. He'll let one go deep for downs. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. His pass left side to Downs. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 32-yard line. Richardson off the play fake. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Grover Stewart getting in there for the sack. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Now a run by HM. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. They'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll drop the throw. This pass complete to Higgins. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now back to throw. 
On target over the middle to Hill. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Play action. Now it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Achan. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. From the 48 yard line, here's the second down and six. Now Tua. Caught by Wilson. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 38 yard line. Here's a chance. Nice his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. But we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. A give for Taylor running right side. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. 136 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's Richardson to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Richards into the air on first down. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. He finds some open field here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And part of the tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Yeah, Richardson yet again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. On the draw is Taylor. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. Second down, eight yards to go. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. 
Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Now first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor, and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with his third touchdown and 18th on the year. And the Colts have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. the touchdown here's gay to kick it away taken at the goal line and up to about the 26 yard line just across the 25 here's first and 10 now Tua. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the means. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had because those haven't been great, but they get a few more quality ones like that. That can finish things off for them. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Throwing to a... This is going to be incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Tua. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line is bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The Colts going to use... to their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. This is caught. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. They'll come up first and 10 here. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. 
as time has run out on this football game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for Indianapolis, their winning ways continue as they get it up to 7-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Miami, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.